this is Samir Abdul Karim, senior at American International College, reporting from Springfield, Massachusetts. For comic book lovers and enthusiasts across the world, today we mourn Stanley Martin Lieber, known to the Marvel Universe as Stanley. And when you do something that you know the fans seem to enjoy, that gives you such satisfaction you don't want to stop. From Captain America to Spider-Man, Lee paved the way for ordinary people flawed in simple ways and turned them into people with extraordinary powers. Yeah. And Stanley had a big impact on my life because he has a connection to my family and us. And we, it's basically a tradition going home and watching movies that he created. And also, it's kind of sad that he won't pop up in those movies anymore. I feel like that's something that everybody knows him by, not only because he made Marvel, but he pops up in his own movies at random times. So it's going to be sad that he's gone, but he left the legacy behind. So that's why that matters. To me, Stanley's always been very important. My dad was a big comic book collector when he was a kid. When I got to like the age of like five, he started introducing me, and I started reading all these stories. And uh, I'm very connected with uh, Spider-Man. I feel like he's the most connectable superhero because he's just the average like teenager, nerdy kind of kid. But then he gains extraordinary powers, and he has to cope with having to deal with it. And like all the villains that he has to deal with, it just reflects on himself. Like Doctor Octopus, the reflection of his intelligence, things like that. If he can't control it, I find it very, uh, very sad that he's passing.